channel and today we are doing the third out of a small video series of my friend's cars. Uh, or I say friends even though all three cars have been owned by one friend. We'll just, we'll just call it Dan's Garage. This is, this is the last video of my review of Dan's current garage and cars in his ownership. This is by far my favourite car. Not sure if it's his favourite car. Now he has his Volvo. But this is the Jaguar XFRS. Uh, it's quite special, isn't it? Now, the thing is with this car is I do have to apologise because one, it hasn't been cleaned in a little while and two, it just absolutely chucked it down with rain so the car is covered in water spots so I do apologise for that but, well, you can't complain, can you? Look at it, it is absolutely stunning. Uh, from every single angle, this paint colour which is Italian racing red is absolutely stunning. The black leather seats paired with the black wheels and the full carbon splitter kit from Vehicle Revolutions. I'll pop their Instagram below. It just looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? I'm going to talk about in this video are these wheels. Now they are the exact same wheels as on the black Jaguar XF RS that I filmed earlier on in the week and these wheels are well yeah as I said the exact same apart from one small detail the condition that these wheels are in lovely condition uh, very few curving marks to my knowledge uh, a little bit dirty but again it doesn't matter look at how angry they look they are I believe 21s might be I might have to get back to you on that I'll correct myself down below somewhere if I'm wrong but I believe these are 21s all the way around they are absolutely stunning with the yellow brake calipers on the red paint it just it just looks great the brakes on this car are absolutely unbelievable as you can see the huge discs found on the Range Rover SVR the F-Type SVR and well every every other SVR RS product they're nuts they have a huge stopping power and they need it because this car is two plus tons and can go well over 200 miles an hour i say well over it's about two miles an hour over uh, the car's top speed is well as i say just over 200 miles an hour and it needs the big brakes to stop such a big car i say this car is big because it is very long very wide the, the car is quite a staggering length i don't know off the top of my head what it is but i wouldn't be far wrong guessing if it was just over three meters the thing is crazy big and crazy low i should mention the uh, the suspension has been knocked down to its lowest setting which helps very much with ground clearance i should say along with the full carbon splitter side skirts and diffuser the entire thing is well very low the next thing i'm going to talk about in this video and well I'm gonna regret standing like this because my knee is going to be incredibly sandy now, is the carbon splitter and front splitter by Vehicle Revolutions. This kit is nuts. They have just bought it out. They are one of the first, if not the first company to bring out a full carbon kit for the RS, not just the R model. Uh, the front bumper on the RS is ever so slightly different shaped. So that presents a whole flux of challenges and the rear arch is ever so slightly a different shape as well. So that creates another challenge there and they have absolutely smashed it, I'm sure you agree. This splitter kit and skirts and diffuser are absolutely bonkers. They look unbelievably good. Next thing I wanna talk about on this car is this bit of plastic right here. This is the number plate on the red RS. Uh, it's quite special. Now, if you didn't know, the RS was a limited run. I'll pop below how many they made. Uh, this is RS, representing the RS badge, 60, representing the build number of the car, and XRS, representing the X and RS. Quite a special number plate. He also used to own a, another RS on completely matching number plates with its unique build number, which is pretty special. The other cool thing about this number plate is the little text here, similar to another YouTuber that does this on all of his cars, Shree150, the no replacement for displacement. Uh, 
what a, what a true to car statement to have on a five litre supercharged V8 running 600 plus horsepower. Uh, you can you can take your small three cylinders running a thousand brake. I, I, I couldn't care less. This car's engine is nuts. It's huge and we'll, we'll take a look at that now. So yes, as I was saying, this is the five litre supercharged V8. It is absolutely huge. There is two Ram air intakes. The car has had a slight remap and that's about it. Other than the felt being taken off from under here to increase that supercharger sound, the obnoxious amount of whine that comes out of this car is insane. And you'll hear that in a moment. There isn't really much to say about this engine bay other than how huge it is and what sentiment it is to the car's number plate. Uh, it just really is true, isn't it? There is no replacement for displacement. So, as I said, yes. This thing sounds amazing. Now we'll uh, we'll take a look inside the RS. It's uh, fairly similar to the other car we filmed the other day, and well, it's just a little bit nicer, isn't it? Let's have a look. So yes, as I was saying, this car is well. Let's turn the car on a second. There we go. Right, the wheel is now straight. We have once again eBay special carbon fiber this time instead of red uh, paddle extensions we have this carbon effect material absolutely everywhere we have the real carbon fiber all the way down the center console the carbon effect fabric on both the seats and the doors it's just a lovely place to be we've got the red start stop button off of the xk rs uh, it might be the xk rs gt actually i'll have to look that up but um yeah, what's more to say really? Full, full black leather, again with red stitching, black carpets with red logos. This car comes complimentary with the XFRS metal foot things here. I don't know what to call them. Steps. Um, yeah, it's just really nice, isn't it? I will mention the car comes with both a sport mode and a checker flag or track mode. Um, this is, well, it might be called dynamic mode actually, but either way, this is the most mental of the car's abilities. Hold it down, the traction turns off completely and the car turns into a uncontrollable animal. Other than that, we have full Apple CarPlay slash um, the Android CarPlay system, whatever that's called, which Dan is currently running because he refuses to buy an iPhone. The car is spacious, the boot is large and fit a lot of stuff in it. So, as I mentioned before, this is the facelift of the Jaguar XF. They didn't make an RS on the pre-facelift. Uh, the RS comes with the RS badge on the steering wheel, the RS badge on the seats, and the RS badge on the passenger side of the dashboard. It also comes with the RS sequence when you turn the car on. Uh, I'm not actually sure if it still does this after having the aftermarket CarPlay system fitted, but it was, it was particularly cool when it did do it. Um, yeah, other than that, there's not much to say really. We've got these nice aluminium pedals, aluminium finish around all the buttons, um, electronic parking brake, that's about it really. I will take a second to mention this car is very spacious in the rear. I'm six foot exactly, and I have plenty of headroom, uh, no scuffing of the Alcantara roof. Uh, plenty of space here. We have climate controls in the rear with the Jaguar logo, plenty of chrome, plenty of carbon effect on the fabric. And yeah, it's just a comfy place to sit, lovely. You could definitely do a fair few hours in this as a road trip car. Uh, speaking of, in this car's previous life, it went to the Nürburgring many a times. So yeah, that's I think just a sentiment of how reliable these things really are. Uh, the whole, you know, the rumor that Jaguars are unreliable is no fake. They do have their problems. This one is, you know, one of those. It has had its issues in the past, but when you look after the car, they really are solid. 
Now, a lot of people know that my favorite car of all time is the Mercedes G-Class, and well, it still is. But in terms of realistic dream car for 40,000 pounds at the minute, this is it. I have done thousands of miles in the passenger seat of this car, and I've grown a real attachment to it, and I'll be sad to see it go one day. But for now, this is it. This is peak car for me. Now, before I uh, end today's video, I did want to say a huge thank you to Dan for letting me film not one, not two, but three of his cars, the Volvo 850, the XFR, and the Big Daddy, the XFRS. I also wanted to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Essex Car Meets. If you are a big fan of car shows, car meets, coffee mornings, anything really car related in terms of events, check out their website. They've always got an event going on. There is always tickets for sale. And if you are interested in buying one, be sure to use TJF20 for 20% off at the checkout.